you will watch this video, you will gonna know the secret nobody told you before. If you don't know secret, you have little money. But if you know the secret, I tell you. Secret or no? Show you secret, okay? We all know that doing keyword research is a very good idea, right? But the question is, what is that you are doing? You are doing keyword research before you choose the product or you do the keyword research after you choose the product to list on your eBay account. You may wonder, well, what's the point, Andrew? That's the big secret I'm gonna show you in this video because it makes a totally different eBay game. But you, you pay me money? You know pay me money? Ah, you don't have money. As we are approaching 2020, we have to do something differently from 2019. And as probably you know already, I am doing only manual dropshipping. Manual eBay dropshipping is my way of doing business and this is what I'm teaching to all my students. And let me show you exactly what I mean by manual eBay dropshipping product research for 2020. Let's dig in straight away and show you example on the screen. Okay, so let's say we are going to choose something like some product. For example, um, something like floor, floor mop okay let's do floor mop okay if you do floor mop let's say we are looking for the product so here we see we have our quite a bit over 8000 results are under this keyword floor mop okay so and then i need uh, ebay on uh, ebay i go and i open on ebay uh, my site and then i let's say i put in something like the same like floor floor doesn't give me any floor mops here but let's say floor map okay so when i do let me see what happens so there is a 4500 results this is not a very good sign because there is a so much competition over there so okay so if you were gonna be using those words floor map or or you want to sell floor map you will be lost we have to do something a little bit smarter here Okay. And I have to say, when I do the keyword research, I often do the keyword research afterwards when I found the product. Because first was kind of like I got this idea about the product, the floor map, I want to sell it. And then I create my uh, cool listing around the floor map and, uh, and I make this listing and then I start looking for the keywords. What kind of keywords can I put to this? Because I think this is going to be the hot selling product. And in order to position my listing in a top page on eBay, I have to somehow to fight with those 4,574 people, right? And actually, I have to say this is not a very good idea because I found out that there is more powerful, more profitable and more better way how you can do your eBay dropshipping business for 2020 so stay tuned i will gonna show you absolutely new way of doing dropshipping so you see the keyword research is not only about optimizing your metadata for ebay's algorithm that you would be ranking higher in the search but of course that's a very important part of doing the listing but the thing here is you want to find in a search term where you have low competition, right? Now we got what? We got 4,747. This is not a low at all, right, on eBay. We have to find the low competition keywords that we would rank higher there by using those keywords. And let me show you how I do this. So the basic idea here is to get this result as less as possible. My new way is to find the keywords first. And in this case, what I can do is we can see here is a lot of a lot of uh, eBay suggested uh, floor cleaning map, easy magic floor map sync. You can try those here listed, all those here, right? So, or what I usually do is I also go to the Google 
let me open a Google. On a Google, I type the same floor mop, floor mop. Okay, and Google shows me some kind of like uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, space, let me just put floor mop steamer. It's here. It's what uh, people are looking pretty much about the floor mop steamer, right? And but what I used to do is I used to think a little bit first before I do this, okay? I used to check out, there is two ways to go. You can check out those things here, like floor mop steamer, okay? So then you go to eBay and you see if the eBay suggested is the same. Yeah, floor mop steamer, it's the same here, right? You click and check out that one. Oh, it's totally different game now, it's 472. But still, floor map steamer, it's kind of like a too many people to compete with. I wouldn't be going with the floor map steamer. So I would go forth and back here sometimes to check out how can I rank my keywords because there is a power with the keywords. And if you were going to stay till the end of this video, at some point, I will going to give you the very powerful bonus as a reward that you have been watching my video. You see, but the eBay's metadata system is algorithm is not stupid. I cannot trick him to, to, to force the algorithm to be placed on the first here at the very top here, right? So if somebody is watching for floor mop steamer, I have to do something else. And this is my kind of like goal to find for what keywords I can aim because the product to find it's not the problem. The product to find is very very easy and in a minute I will show you how to find the product in a, just a few clicks. It's very easy. Okay, but still I need to work for the keywords first. What keywords can I use for the floor map? If I could sell something about the floor map, what if we will take let's say a different approach here and uh, floor map steam map and if uh, let's say janitors 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 how do you write janitors correct this is correct zero janitor zero or janitor i'm not sure how it's spelling right Janitor. yeah janitor looks like janitor is the right spelling yes and i can see there is a totally different game you see nine results and what i can see here is somebody is actually using the keyword janitor and here you can see floor surface home cleaning kit right floor map could be janitor floor map janitor map is here universal janitor floor map broom floor broom janitor and uh, if I want to be sure if this is really just something good, let me go to the Google and see what Google is saying about the floor map, okay? If I write here janitor, janitor, janitor map, there is janitor map, right? Cool. Janitor map would be much better, okay? It would be Oh, this is good one here. Let me just check it out janitor map here. Janitor floor map. If I take away floor map and if I put janitor map. 19 results. Still excellent. Okay. I used to say everything under 100 is worth to fight for. Okay. Now I got two very good search results for the metadata because if I were going to use the janitor map, and janitor floor map, both of those very specific words, very targeted words for the targeted audience, for the targeted need, I will have a very big chance to be ranked not only on the first page here, if somebody is typing in janitor's floor map, and it's not so many of them are out there on the eBay, right? So you can see, images for the janitor floor map here and if you really want to dig deeper here is so-called shopping cart right the shopping the google shopping now you can see all sorts of those crazy good ideas about janitor maps okay now you can start dig deeper and find out oh yes 
what kind of map do you want to sell and because you are separated yourself from all the crowd there with the 19 results here with the keyword janitor map janitor floor map then you can maybe even spe specifically add some words like a like a wide janitor floor map commercial janitor floor map on all those sorts of different kind of like ideas have to test it out to separate yourself from the crowd and this is not the only one thing what will gonna happen with you is very powerful eBay will gonna pick you up as you are the seller of very unique product because there is not so many are selling them right so you have less competition now what you have to do e on the eBay's files on the eBay's metadata there are people who are looking for the janitor floor map okay and as you know probably eBay is so hardly trying now to force into the Google search engine and to be notified by Google search engine they are very very hardly trying to cooperate they are cooperating actually with the Google's search if you want a video please put in a comment I will gonna send you the video it's a it's a it's not mine video but I can send you the link where the eBay's representative and the Google's representative talking about the how to, how they uh, cooperate to just to get eBay more on the search result on the Google so this is very good product here would be for me to uh, get a very high ranking position on eBay because it has been showed not only on eBay but also on the Google so when eBay recognizes you that you have this unique product with the keyword combination not so many uses them eBay will gonna reward you and gonna put you on the first page because you do something really cool nobody is doing this and people has been looking for that on the Google right here you can see janitor's map or janitor's or janitor floor map you can do like this janitor floor map okay and now you can see all those sorts of ideas here right and then you can click by seller by eBay okay cool you click this one here and you see all those interesting things what's happening on eBay right eBay seller eBay seller eBay seller now it's very easy to find the items right the same items you can find on the where do you want to find them on Amazon okay cool you just tick it out this one and because I'm on uh, um, in Canada so it's obviously Google showing me Canada right but you can go to the amazon.com and check it out on the .com Amazon if you have the product there what you can list as a with the keywords as we found out janitor floor map because when those keywords become your main keywords and you will put those main keywords for eBay's metadata in a proper way you will gonna be selling this product daily that's what we are doing with our students and that's how we separate ourselves from all the crowd because by the end of the day you don't want to compete with the floor map guys okay because what happened here if you remember the floor map guys are a little bit in a trouble to compete for the price and stuff like this so this is one thing another thing is what is very important for you to understand is if you put the product out there let me click another here if you put something like here okay and you are not selling this product what will gonna happen with you eBay will gonna recognize you that you are posting a list there with the product which is not needed for their audience okay so if it's not needed for their audience why would they be showing your product to the audience you are scaring away their audience right because nobody is watching your product so please be careful with spamming on eBay and overloading eBay with the products that nobody is clicking on them 
that's really important aspect to us understand why we are separating ourselves from all the crowd now keep in the mind when the buyers they come in to the eBay here they just type in something here some words here and they expect that by typing in here let's say floor map they will type in floor map let's just put yourself in a buyer's shoes if you type if you need floor map for your janitors or whatever you need to buy supplies or something and you coming up what oh you see oh my gosh all those china products here I don't need and I need to sell I need so many I got confused right how can I do something specific and then you put here okay for the janitor okay janitor janitor floor map and this is what the buyers does right and then you say oh cool now janitor janitor floor map oh yeah looks like this one this is actually what I was looking for or this but I need something not like this I need something wide the white janitor floor because where is it where is it and you are struggling as a buyer you are struggling to find the floor map okay the right floor map what you are looking for because you were looking for the floor map probably like this there are no floor maps like this okay this is wide floor map this is wide floor map wide floor map wide janitor's floor map Okay, so there are no such floor maps here, but on a Google there are those floor maps, but they just not in a metadata they are not mentioned wide janitor floor map, but they actually does the job, right? So this is very important how we put the keywords there because the, the power of this separating yourself with the proper keywords for the metadata it's crazy important and i will gonna share with you why you see when the buyer is typing here janitor floor map and their expectation matches your listing here what happened is for the ebay's algorithm is ebay can see that you are typing those words here janitor floor map their system recognizes that right and you are landing on this page here and this is let's say for example this one is your product keyworded properly in a proper way not only in a title title is only one part of the keywording power there is a, so much more how to keyword yourself properly and every time when when somebody is typing janitor floor map you are showing up on this page and straight from there going to your product here if your price and picture are good and your title is good and your description is good and you are outstanding uh, account is good here with the hundred positive and uh, feedback right and if buyer if buyer clicks on your item here and if he says hey okay i go add to the cart you are having like a medal from the eBay and eBay starts showing you more and more and more. This is the free boost. You can never get this same effect if you try the, uh, if you're trying this, let me see, this person is not trying. There should be here the black, the number showing on if you're doing promoted listings but they are not doing promoted listings so this is absolutely crucial powerful way how you can position yourself if you use the power of keyword metadata and again in the opposite let's say if you just put another keyword and you are let me go back a little bit more back and you are somewhere between those competitions here and people just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling over and over and over and they never click on you you are recognized by ebay that they have to put you somewhere behind because you are just making confusion for their buyer this is totally opposite effect so for this reason i realize this is totally e different ebay game when i do the keyword research first and then when i do the keyword research first and i come up with the results like this 
or results like let's say go back again uh, which direction do I need to go now uh, click this way this way and when I come up to this way like janitor floor map now when I found the keywords with whom I can rank high on eBay I will gonna go to the Google and find the product where can I get that product because the ranking possibility for me is extremely high okay I can put with myself because I know how to do the keyword metadata to match not only in a title but I know how to use pictures I know how to use item specifics descriptions and how to just put myself naturally on the first position okay now because you have been watching me for so long I want to give you the reward the bonus okay so I have a very special video about the buyers behaviors it's in my 799 training only it's not on the YouTube you cannot find on the YouTube it will not gonna be on the YouTube but I will gonna send you that video about the buyers behaviors and how to trigger them if you were gonna put in a comment Andrew I want to have a video about the buyers behaviors and if your comment will gonna be below in the comment section I will gonna contact you and I will gonna send you the video which is priceless so with that being said buyers behavior is really important thing for you very extremely important thing for you to pay attention and to just study as much as possible because if eBay pays their major attention to the buyers behavior you should too if you want to be successful at least you have to know what it is otherwise you are gonna be shooting like blindly like it's like you're shooting like this okay not like the Paul the Paul is the good man he knows how to shoot he shoots and I do like he shoot I fight cool now if you don't know how to use keywords to trigger 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 you know how to trigger eBay's metadata because you can use your keywords to be position in a good spot on a good visible place on a eBay or you can misuse them and just cross the fingers and hope that somebody will gonna show you to someone in a some place or somebody will gonna bypass and will gonna see you Normally. Normally. so it's a two different totally opposite ways how we can do or we just don't do the things with our keywords right watch the next video it will come out very soon and click this subscribe button here because you are gonna be notified for the next crazy good tip take care bye bye